You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. Number five. Let's go to number five, which is well, another one of my favorite because of the interview with me and, and you. Uh, Startup Blog Insights is Agile Contingency Planning and Agile Success. And that you know, if, you keep it, if you keep it up, we're going to end up having the top 10 from Nerd Stalker as opposed from... <laughs> I suppose it's a from blog style. Well, it still has you in it. <laughs> but uh, agile contingency planning. So, so this is the contingency planning so we talked about a little bit ago in terms of thinking about what might happen along your path. So, this is kind of important in doing uh, development work, for example. Uh, you know, if if you you know, if you, or or in manufacturing, or in in quite a number of things. So, so partnering or raising money. Um, so, as an example, what happens if you going to lose what happens if you what would happen to you if you lost your major manufacturer you know say you're doing it on a contract uh, do you have an alternate uh, what would happen if uh, somebody's supplying you with key ingredient for your uh, for, for what you're trying to develop uh, all of a sudden went under and they were no longer available and uh, did you give consideration there what if what if you're developing something or you're in, in your business you have a really significantly important employee and that employee got an offer and left and went right. what would you do thinking ahead about some of those things that you could envision that could occur and say well at least have an idea of what you might do if it did occur can uh, can lessen the downtime you might experience well, you know, I was going to ask you. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. you know, how how I I I was running through this with my business partner the other day, and how how deep a contingency planning should you go? Is it based on risk? I mean, what's your advice on that? I usually I usually even without having I don't necessarily write everything down, but I usually think through those things that would be the most traumatic to me, and think about what I would do if that did occur. And, and I may not even ever, ever write it down, but I at least think about what those options would be, so that if it if it did occur, uh, I at least can begin to move down that path. And I'm not, uh, I'm, I may be totally blindsided when it occurred, but I at least had ideas of what I would do that I could fall back on. Mm. You know, I don't necessarily write everything down. It's just a matter of thinking through it and what would you do and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Oh, anyway, to... like, give me an example. What would you do yeah. if? What would you do if your camera went out right now? <laughs> but you still had sound. <laughs> you could still record the thing. I would right? still do it. I would, it would still do it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it'll call. It's definitely called radio. I could put a I could put a hat over my TV, my, over my monitor here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I've had that. <laughs> Believe me, I've had that doing this for three or four years. Yeah, I've gone to be in the middle of presentations, and and the bulb in the camera went out. Right. And and all of a sudden now you don't have a screen and and so you know I've actually gone through the point of giving the presentation as if the slides were there talking about what they would have seen and being able to do it with without showing them anything. So you know those are the kinds of things that you can give thought to. When I go to a presentation, sometimes I'll throw a pointer in in my uh, pack. I'll throw in hard copy. Uh, I'll have uh, an alternate. You know, I'll have a jump a thumb drive or a jump drive with uh, the thing on it. I may have put it into another. Um, you know, in, into uh, something like Dropbox, so I could download it if I had to. So it's like if I got there and all of a sudden I didn't have some form of presentation, uh, I'm not stuck. Yeah, so absolutely. We were I mean, in New York uh, last week, and uh, we had presentations, and I and the, so the guy that was going was going to do the presentation. Said, well, "How many copies should I take?" I said, take ten. And it said, "So, so it turns out that we got there, and none of the places had." Computers set up to make presentations. None of them. So we did off a hard copy the entire time. <laughs> then one, the last meeting had four people that came in. In addition to, so it was like all used up all the ten copies, but we had them. Had we not had them, it would have been more complex. Yeah. Oh God. I I I know. I I you know I I'm starting to really get sloppy thinking that the internet is always around now. And I f completely forget about that type of stuff that you yeah. just...